This is the intro jingle. This is the K-Pop DevOps Show with Eric Nam. Hello, everybody. My name is Eric Nam, and welcome to the K-Pop Tebak Show. I'm making sure I look into the camera and I look beautiful. And in case you're wondering, yes, we do have a YouTube version of this somewhere on the internet it's called youtube.com slash dive pods and slash dive studios. And you get early access to this if you're an amazing patron of ours at patreon.com slash dive studios. I love you, our patrons. You guys are great. Anyways, welcome to this show. I hope you guys are ready for this because today is a big freaking day. It is, what do you call it? Singles Awareness Day episode, aka Happy Breakup Songs, aka They Said Valentine's Special. I'm gonna call it Singles Awareness Day Special. Everybody, if you're single, say yeah. Yeah. Say yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you in a relationship, say okay. You're welcome. Happy everything day to everyone. What's happening? I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> welcome to the show. This is a show where we talk about K-pop. And so that's what we're going to do. Hope you guys have been doing well. Um, where should we start? Typically, I kind of ramble a lot. So let's just start rambling before we get into these Valentine songs. Valentine Day songs? Yes, let's do that. So what's been happening today? Uh, first of all, I'm hungry. Did you guys eat today? Have you eaten today? If you have not eaten, make sure you eat. Let me tell you a story about what happens at my house right now where I'm staying with my parents. Every morning, my mom, she's the best. I love you, mom. She makes myself and my father a green juice. It is comprised of uh, kale, celery, banana, and water. That's it. Does it sound delicious? Mm-hmm. You bet it does. And um, it's green. It's a little chunky. It's pretty thick. But um, it's good for you. And I hope you guys are taking care of your health. Speaking of health, speaking of mental health and physical health and overall wellness, I hope you guys have checked out Mindset. I know I did a long spiel on Mindset, but it is available, guys. And thank you so much for everybody who has downloaded, who has left us a review and a rating on the App Store, whichever one you're on. and for sharing it and for purchasing it and listening through. Um, I, I've seen so many messages of people who say they're crying or they feel very related to and they feel heard and they feel seen. And that's exactly what this is for. It's for you guys to know that I go through the same things that you guys go through and just tips and tricks on how I overcame them. Um, and if you haven't checked it out, you can do it right now. You go to getmindset.com. G-E-T-M-I-N-D-S-E-T dot com. Or you go to your app store, you type in Mindset by Dive Studios. There are free episodes and uh, you could join us on there. I've been commenting on a lot of the comments that you guys put up there. I love also reading so many of your stories um, about what you're going through or how it affects you or how it applies to you. And it's just been really encouraging to see that. And so thank you so, so, so freaking much. You guys are the absolute best and um, more to come on that. now. Let's see. What else is there to talk about? Hmm. I recently got a haircut. And it's the first haircut that I got in months. Months. And I was like, please don't cut my hair too short. And so it's still pretty long. But at least I don't look like a caveman. um, Because that was kind of the look that was happening for a bit. And uh, I look a little better. And I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> what else is happening? I recently… Ooh, I recently watched this movie called Minari. It is, I believe it's available. No, or if it will be available very soon. Actually, I have no idea when it actually… Hold on. Let's look this up. Minari release date. February 12th. So, okay. So it's out. It's out. Um, it's a beautifully shot film. And big shout out to the team behind it. Um, some incredible actors. And I really liked it. I want to do like an entire… I was like… As I was watching… I watched it with my parents. I was like, I should do a podcast with my dad. Called just like Conversations with My Dad. Because he would not stop talking during the entire movie. He has so much to say. Um, but it was really interesting because… 
it's about a Korean immigrant family. And so he, as we were watching, he just kept relating to it in a way that's so different from how I… How I personally was taking it in. So he was like, oh, this is so accurate. Or I relate to this and I feel seen. And he was very like… He kept saying like… it's Recently, he's been saying this a lot. Um, he was like, you know, it's really cool that his generation, parents' generation, it was like, we got here and we had to really make a name and a place and like fight for everything tooth and nail um, for any sort of uh, position here. But he was like, you know, now we have people like yourself, me, who's pursuing music. There are people like actors like Steven Yun. There are writers like uh, Min Jin Lee, Yi Min Jin, who, you know, the author of Pachinko. And, you know, Jenny Han, who, um, the author of To All the Boys I've Loved Before. Like, just so many Asian American, Korean American people doing really cool things in really cool spaces. And he keeps saying this recently and it, and it made me… I've always appreciated it, but it made me even more appreciative of my parents, but also all immigrants who our parents age and before or whoever, they brought us here and we've had this opportunity to build culture and make, you know, global culture so much more diverse and accepting and and amazing and beautiful. And so I don't know. I've been spending a lot of time at home with my parents and it's been really great because we just have really interesting conversations. I don't know why I got onto this subject. But anyways, okay. Let's jump into it, guys. It's time for the Heartbreak Songs for the Valentine's Day special. By that I mean Singles Awareness Day. And by that I mean I actually don't care. These are just great breakup songs. Let's go. The first song that we got today. You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? Hey! It's of course Jenny with Solo. Alright guys. So I'm pretty sure everybody knows this song. But it's always good to kind of go back. Take it back. It's Solo. Right? Now this song… Um, the video is beautiful. I love the choreo. I think it's so catchy. We've already talked about it on the show. But you know… I can't be the only one that says… Whenever she says… Pete. Danen solo, right? It's like uh Pichi Danen solo. It's like uh, a solo person who's like really like shining, got that aura, right? But everybody knows what we're going for. We're going for Bish, I'm solo. That's all I wanted to say. That's pretty much like the reason that I put this in. I wanted to say Bish, I'm solo. <laughs> so, guys, I'm hungry. You're welcome. Second song. We're just going to pop through these because like there are a lot of them. And there's like… We just got to keep going through them. Right? The next one we got to talk about… Oh my god. This is a smash hit. It's Congratulations by Eric Nar featuring Mark E. Basie. Now, you may all know this song. It's Congratulations. It is the celebration of a separation of a couple. And um… The lyrics here, it's like, you know, not all breakups have to be bad. They don't need to be like dramatic. It's just like, yo, we done. You're done. I'm done. We're moving on. Congratulations. We're out of this relationship that didn't work. Honestly, I think it's kind of cool. And I also think it's pretty like honest. Like, you know, there are different types of breakups. There's like one where like, Oh, you cheated on me! Or I loved you so much it's just not going to work. Or it's like one where everybody knows it needs to stop. And like for some reason or another, like it isn't. And so you need to cut it off. And when you do, it's like, Yo, congratulations. You needed to get out of that. And so uh, that's what it is. I, It makes me feel good. That's all I got to say. Next up, we have another song. It's Dean featuring Eric Bellinger. I'm not sorry. Okay, so this is a bit of a throwback. This was released in July of 2015. And uh, of course, it is Dean who has his beautiful, beautiful voice. And Eric Bellinger who is also a, a singer-songwriter uh, from the States. And uh, girl, I forgot about missing you. Said, I forgot about missing you. It is a… I think it's a feel-good breakup song. 
bye. You know, I'm not sorry. Should we look should we look a little bit more into the lyrics? Hold on, let me pull it up for you. All right. So, I'm looking a little closer at the lyrics. There's I want to bring attention to this one part because I always thought it was like kind of funny but also cool that he does this. Like um there's this line. He goes, "Chillin in Taiwan. Take a look at my passport now." And I was just like I never I don't think I'd ever heard anybody sing Itaewon in like the most R&B swaggy way ever. And I was like, "Hey, that's pretty cool. I mean, it felt kind of like, why? But then I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. So I don't know why I brought that up. I just I just always thought it was kind of fun and interesting. Sorry, I'm gonna shut up now and move on to the move on to some more stuff. Dean, um, he was originally a songwriter. Um, he's written a lot for different people. No most perhaps most notably for EXO and also for himself. He has incredible, incredible incredible songs and uh, he has his own label called You Will Know and it has a lot of artists on there. They're very, very, very talented artists and Dean is one of those artists where I'm always waiting for his comeback. I'm always waiting for anything that he's writing, anything that he's featuring on, anything that he's releasing and all I gotta say is, Dean, why is there no more music? I need more music from you, bro. Like… um I don't know. He has something that's like crazy about his vocal tonality, vocal tone and like everything. And and um, just also genuinely a nice dude. So, and also a very like fashionable dude. He dresses in like ways that I'm like, dang, that's pretty cool. Like I've never seen anything like that, but it's pretty dope and I dig it. So Dean, please, if you could do us all a favor and just put out a song, I would seriously appreciate it. And I think a lot of people would. And when you do that, you should come on this show so we can catch up. That's all I want to say. Next up, we're talking about Ailey's Poyo Jerke. So, Ailey, great friend, amazing, amazingly talented friend, performer. And um, she's been on our show before, way back when. Um, and Poyojuke, this song ranked number one on every major Korean music platform upon release in 2012. This song is almost 10 years old. Oh my gosh. Oh my lordy. Um, but Ailey, I feel like, has so many incredible songs. And um, I really like this song. A lot of her songs. Like all her songs are just hits. Like if you go to her concert, like I've had the pleasure and honor and privilege… Dear Ailey, of opening or guesting for her uh, concert. We've done events together. And every time, like, I watch her, I'm like, dang, like, what? Like, how? She has this power and charisma and stage presence about her that is very, very rare and hard to find. And she's singing everything freaking live, like, 100% live. Like she she will sing everything live and she just slays it with her choreo and everything. But anyways, um, I feel like this song and a lot of her songs were just like a big F you um, to her ex-boyfriend. And it's like, I'm going to be better without you. And I'm going to be strong without you. And I feel like everybody knows this song. Why can't I speak? Everybody knows this song. And it's like this power anthem of like, Yo! F you. Peace! Buy a jerky! Sorry. God, I got really excited about that. Um, so yeah. Check it out. You know what? I feel good. I feel like I'm giving you guys like a re-education of some older school K-pop. Which some people need. Because some people just don't know some older stuff. So we're just going to keep doing it real, real quick. Uh, let's talk briefly about this smash hit. We're gonna go back even further in time. It's 21's I Don't Care. Eh, 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 eh. 21, I Don't Care. This is the title song of 21's debut album, 21 first mini album released in 2009. That is 12 years ago. Produced by the one and only Teddy of YG. Of course, Teddy writes so many hits for all of YG's artists. Um, and is the main producer for Black Pink as well. Um, I just… I love this song. I love all of 21's songs. 21 has no bad songs. I said it. 
You're welcome. Um, now, talking about 21, we know that you know they have been, I guess, disbanded technically since their contracts ended with YG. But CL, she is preparing and teasing the world with a new album that is supposed to be coming out. And I just need you to release that album and then come on this show because I can't wait to talk about this music that you've just been sitting on. This mountain of music that the world needs to hear. So please, do it. <laughs> I, like, I have been a vocal fan of 21 forever. Um, all of them. Every single member. And every time I see them or I talk to them, I'm just like, I'm a fan. Credit goes where credit is due. So, we need it. Also, Pak Bom, incredible vocalist. Um, I think I talked about her way back about running into her, um, but hopefully she has a new album coming out soon and she'll join us on the show as well. Minzy recently established her own management company, MZ Entertainment. Congratulations, Minzy! Um, and then Tara, she has been very, very active on entertainment TV programs. She's hosting a bunch of shows. She's been very active and she's also very active on the social. So it's always fun keeping up with her. I personally want a 21 comeback. If you guys need a creative consultant for free, hit me up. I don't know if I have of any help or of any value to you, but… I would love to see this happen. It would be a personal dream come true. And I think blackjacks around the world would rejoice with a resounding sound of yay! Hallelujah! I'm on another level today. I don't know what's going on. I think it's the hunger. I would eat right now, but it's also 2 a.m. And I'm not going to eat. Because I try not to eat before I go to bed. You're welcome. Okay. All right, finally, we have one more song for you guys because I'm just going through these songs like we are on fire. It is haze. Things are going well. Um, the song is in her album Lyricist and it was released in 2020. Um, now, this song, it kind of comes off as a sad breakup song, but if you look at the lyrics, you know, some of it is actually pretty, you know, like I'm moved on. So, it's like, yo, I'm busy. I got so much work. I didn't know I'd be doing this well. Even if you go meet someone else, I think I'm going to be good. And even though you're crying, I think about other things. And I actually, honestly, I'm busy. I got to go. And you're like, oh my god. Dang, that's cold. That's brutal. But all to say, there are happy breakup songs, you know? Haze, things are going well, lyricist. And we had a uh, 21. I don't care. Eh, 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 eh. I don't care eh, 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 that I am done. And we had Ailey Poyojuke. I will show you. And um, we had Dean featuring Eric Bellinger with I'm Not Sorry. We had Eric Nam featuring Marky Basie. Congratulations. And of course, we had Bish now solo. Jenny with solo. And that's where we're going to wrap up our songs for this week. Because mm, yeah. that's It's my show and I feel like that. You're welcome. <laughs> um, anyways, I hope you guys are spending this week well. We are in the third week week of February. Yes, we're in the third week of February. And um, whatever you're doing, wherever you are, I hope you're doing well. Um, what else should we talk about before we kind of wrap things up? What else is going on? What is, what is happening? Let me calibrate in my head what is happening. I'm working on like other shows, other projects um, in the form of podcasts and other things like Things I can't talk about yet. But hopefully they'll be done and ready. Or I can have news to share with you guys sometime soon. Um, oh, one thing that we have to straighten out. Sorry, this is about mindset again. It's not a podcast, y'all. Don't call it a podcast. It ain't a podcast. Mindset is not a podcast. Mindset is mindset. It is an audio experience. It is audio collection. It is an audio platform with amazing stories. Um, Okay. I don't know guys. I really wish I had something to riff on about. But I'm like… Literally all I can think of is… 
I'm so hungry. What should I eat? What should we eat, guys? I can't eat right now. But tomorrow, I'm going to have myself a really good meal. Let me look at my schedule real quick. Okay. Oh, it's, oh man. It is quite a bit. Okay, that means I can get up early. It's not going to happen. Uh, <laughs> I can pretend. Do, do you guys do that? I like pretend like I'm going to wake up early knowing that I won't. But I tell myself I will so I can be fake… Fake motivating and trick myself into maybe perhaps waking up. So like the past two days… I'm like, oh my god, I'm so tired. I've been going to bed at like 3 or 4. Because, you know, I still work on projects in Korea and everywhere. So it's just like working constantly, you know. Um, but like… I trick my body into like waking myself up at like 8 a.m. or like 9 a.m. I'm like, oh, I feel so… I feel like an adult. Do you guys do that? Well, like you do something and you're like, I'm so… I'm so proud of you. I, I'm so proud of myself because I got up and I dressed myself. And I brushed my teeth, took a shower. I'm wearing good clothes today. Well, not right now. Um, I'm wearing nice clothes today. And I had my green juice. I had a coffee. I'm like listening to the news. I'm like, I'm going to get my day going. And um, I just… I'm very proud of myself. It's the little things that count, guys. It's the little things. What's the little thing today that made you feel better? I want you to identify that and feel good about yourself. And love yourself. Anyways, I need to shut up. I need to go to bed. You guys, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you are staying healthy. You're staying safe. And that you're happy and you are living every day with purpose because it matters. Now, go in peace and I will talk to you all very soon. I love you guys. Please rate, review, subscribe, and um, become a patron of ours. Patreon.com slash dive studios. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey guys, before you go, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications for this channel. And comment if you can. And uh, before you go, there's so much more content. Look at this amazing content for you guys to check out. Do it now, please. Okay, bye. Go. Bye.